Climate change, young people in the front lines. An alarming study confirms what has long been suspected about today's children suffering more from climate change related events than their elders. So it's not surprising that young people are increasingly taking action on these issues. Children born in 2016 will suffer more from extreme climate events than their grandparents. A recent analysis found that under current climate conditions, today's children and newborns will experience on average 2.6 times the number of droughts, 2.8 times the number of river floods, almost three times as many crop failures and twice as many forest fires than people born 60 years ago. In addition to this blatant generational injustice, the youngest being by definition less responsible for anthropogenic global warming than their elders, the study also demonstrates a serious imbalance between regions of the world. Ahead of COP26, young climate activists come together to drive change. Young people are expressing their dismay at the lack of action taken by political leaders on ecological issues. The climate emergency is in the spotlight at a UN summit in Milan, with nearly 400 young climate activists aged 15 to 29, from 186 countries. Among them are activist Greta Thunberg, but also 22-year-old Ashley Lashley, 25-year-old Vanessa Nakate and 25-year-old Luisa Neubauer, emblematic figures in the field of climate action. The objective is to establish concrete proposals addressed to the ministers of the environment attending the COP26 conference, November 1 to 12 in Glasgow. Do you know the new lingo related to the environment? Our languages are changing as these issues become increasingly integral in our daily lives. To guide users through the jungle of new words associated with climate change, language learning app and platform Babel have shared their green glossary. Some terms are already fairly well known, such as slow fashion and upcycling. The vocabulary also includes ungardening and wish cycling. The first one is sometimes also referred to as rewilding one's private garden. The second refers to throwing a product in the recycling bin without really knowing if it can be recycled but hoping so. ETF Studio. ETF Studio. ETF Studio. ETF Studio. ETF Studio.